Работаем. Do you want to know how stick paddle land affect your game and which one might suit you best? Watch the video and I'm gonna break down how your stick size changes your game style and standing. I'm Matthew Kazakov and we begin. For those who are not familiar what the paddle is, let's take a look at the goal stick. The goal stick consists of shaft, paddle and the blade. When you buy a stick for yourself or a child, you should pay attention to the size of the paddle which is marked on the shaft. So the length of the paddle is the length of the, this part starting from the bottom of the shaft to the top of your blade. Every goal has individual preferences regarding stick selection and in my opinion a paddle length selection should be based on the next two factors, height of the goalie and the game style. Let's consider all options and in the end make a conclusion what paddle size is better for you. There are a few different length types long one, middle and short. Depending on the goalie height, these sizes vary between 25, 22 and 26 or 25, 26 and 27 depending on how tall the goalie is. Every size affects the depth of the base standing. With the long length, you will appear bigger in the net because of the height position of your knees due to a long paddle. This position gives you the advantage to use your hands aggressively and stretch them out in the case of short range shots. You may stretch them out without fear of losing the position of your stick. Also, the size works best for interception up to the pass behind the goal. The opposite side of the plane with a long paddle is a problematic shoulder rotation, being in a butterfly position. Middle end is a gold standard. You feel more mobile in the butterfly and can still use your stick for interceptions. However, you need to bend your knee slower to keep the stick's blade on the ice so your standing becomes deeper. A short paddle is the best for a quick shoulder rotation, it doesn't constrict your movements and feels pretty natural. Goal with a short paddle bends his knee quite low, which gives him the ability to make faster butterfly saves and increases overall mobility. However, due to low standing, the top shelf uh, often stays uncovered. Now, when you are familiar with the features of each length, let's we'll talk about game style. An excellent example of playing style with a long stick paddle is Anton Hudobin, who was exceptional performance advanced stars to the final last year. His style implies playing in high standing, frequent to use of stick saves instead of pad saves. On the one hand, he can challenge a shooter by going above his crease, on the other, his butterfly mobility is not quick enough, however, he compensates it by excellent stretching. That's why we often see him making desperation saves. Sekera moving in, couldn't come up with it though, a little feed! Anton couldn't quite clutch it to the body, but he never gives up on anything. Hodam Stick's choice is justified by two factors. First of all, he's not tall goalie by NHL standards, so he has to stay tall and massive in the net. Secondly, Dallas game strategy, which is focused on the use of a heavy defense, allows Hodobin to focus mostly on the first shot. I would say this paddle is fine for everybody, but for tall goalies, having a long paddle may, may cause a problem with the rotation. So let's move on. As I mentioned before, middle length paddle is a goal standard. It allows the goalie to be quicker in a butterfly position and still stay tall on a basic stand. Because of the shorter paddle, a goalie gotta bend his knees more, what increases the quickness of skating. Most initial goalies choose this paddle length. It works fine for behind a goal pass interceptions and as, as well as a long paddle. Although mobility is way better than with a long paddle, it's still not great. I guess it's a perfect length for short goalies as it gives you such necessary ability to stay tall in the goal and be quick enough to neutralize the shortage of your height. The excellent NHL example who uses this paddle is a UC Saros.
final, we have a short pedal. If you choose this one, your overall and butterfly mobility will probably skyrocket up only in the case if your skating skills are good enough. Both standing and butterfly rotation become super fast. Most known goalies who use this pedal are Sergei Bobrovsky, Jordan Bennington and a few others. For example, the Islander rookie Ilya Sorokin has a cr critical short pedal in my opinion, which is significantly impacted his game in the beginning of the season. The opposite side of using such a pedal is extremely low standing. If you watch NHL goalies forcefully, you could notice that Bobrovsky and Sorokin tend to give up top shelf and five hole goals up. That's why I wouldn't recommend this pedal for short goalies. It really keeps your top angles uncovered. And then let's see what pedal sides use the best. In this table, you can see which is best for you. If you are tall enough, starting from the 6 1, you can go with the either size. However, you should keep in mind that the game strategies of, a, of your team and understanding which type of shots you face more frequently. Unless your team doesn't allow many rebounds, you can easily go with a long one. In case you feel your def defense is not good enough on the second or backdoor shots, you can take a short one. For middle height goalies, 5'10 or 6'0, the basic option is a middle end. You will be well balanced in your speed, agility and rotation. Short goalies 5'8, 5'10 should go with the long or middle length paddles. But again, you gotta assess the defensive strategies of your own team. Build your game depending on your own conclusions. Anyway, you should keep in mind that all of these are just recommendations. And stick selections should be based on your feelings as well. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice one.